Hi everyone, we are ready to do a fun transformation on this cute girl. We are going from what she has now to a vibrant red color happiness. You'll see it at the end. So, okay, let me just tell you what has happened to her hair previously. I already have my gloves on, I'm ready to rock and roll. Um, she has about two inches of her natural regrowth. She's a level three or four. We'll say, oh, I'll say three or four. I'll say four. <laughs> I'm going to say four. She's a level four. You know, it's so in between. And then she has this band right here of like level two or three. And then it goes back down to lighter. Previously, we had done kind of an ombre, you can tell. So, um, and then she has a few of these little caramel highlights throughout. So, if we want to do vibrant red and not have a band of dark right here, we have to get rid of that. So I'm going to go through, I mixed up a 40 volume bleach with Olaplex, and this is just the Blonde Dimensions Redken. And I'm going to go through all of her hair and I'm going to paint, I'm not going to paint anything on her natural regrowth, I'm just going to be painting anything dark. And I think I'm even going to bring it down into all the ends because I want to brighten up these ends from a caramel to a bright blonde. And then you'll see what we'll do with that after. So that's our first step because I want the, the highlights that are the red to be a really vibrant red, like a Provana bright red. So to get that, that's what we have to do. We have to lighten out the color because as we've talked about before, color will not lift out this band of color. It will, I can put like a four or five RV on her roots and it will be a pretty um, red color and that will lift out and deposit and be beautiful. But all of this right here, it wouldn't work. So I'm going to start back here in the back of her hair. So all of this hair in the front I'm going to clip off just to kind of keep it separated and out of the way while we're working on the back. The hair clips, obviously, and everyone likes to have fun, attractive hair when you're doing it. So I always try to make it look as pretty as I can while it's up in clips. Okay, maybe I should change it. <laughs> she doesn't care. Nobody else is watching. It's not like anyone watches these videos or anything. <laughs> no, it's staying up, so I'm leaving it. Okay, so I'm going to take... And she does have a little scar back here, you guys. There's quite the story to that. She had to have a tumor removed from her brain a few years ago. So you will see that scar. Luckily, she is okay and tumor-free. So, you can see right here, just the tips are dark. So that's the only thing I'm going to be painting. So right here, I'm just going to paint it on. Do, 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 do. And I could have put a foil underneath here just to make it less messy for my gloves, but I didn't. And I have a towel underneath her cape. And I love these bleach proof towels. They are great. So I'm not afraid to put bleach on them. Um, then I'm just going to take it down another section. I'm going to just keep working like that. And like I said, I'm not going to avoid any of the caramel highlights because I'm going to want to lighten those up a little bit anyway. So they will just add to the already desired color that we're going for. So we're leaving those alone. Yeah, and I think I'm going to start using a little spatula underneath these so my hand doesn't have to keep getting wiped. So I'm taking like fourth inch to half inch partings here. I'm taking fourth inch partings, not half inch. That's better. Seriously. Need a better clip. What I need to do is actually go shopping for clips because I do not have a good one. Where's those um, Tresmer, not Tresmer, it's um, balloon ones. Okay. Let's see if we can get this down. There we go. And this just helps me to be able to see where that line is. And it's not the end of the world if a teeny bit goes over that line because we're going to be coloring it again. But if you do too much of it, you will get banding because it will be a, like it will lighten pretty quick. 
because natural hair color, it lets go fairly easy. But synthetic hair color, it stains in the cuticle and it's just kind of hard to get out of there. So if you overlap it into the natural hair, you will have a little bit of this white band. You don't want to really have that, so just be careful. But also if you miss some of it, then you'll have a dark band, so. If you're worried about it, you can feather a little bit up like that. So there's not a super harsh line. You can see how the roll of the head is right here. It kind of scoops. You just gotta follow that line. You also wanna make sure you're getting all the way through. So if you have to spread the hair out a little bit, make sure you could do that. If it's a little bit thicker section, you need to make sure that you're using plenty of product. Don't be shy with it. Nice thick amounts there. And I think a lot of people are scared to do stuff like this. And um, I remember when I was first starting to do stuff like this, I was like, oh, I'll just put the red hair color. Cause you're just like, oh, bleach on the hair. Oh no, that's scary, you know? So I think a lot of us would just default to, well, let's just try putting the whole hair color on there and see what happens. And then you get that uneven banding. So this is definitely called a color correction. And when you do stuff like this, you in the consultation, you just need to make sure people know that it is a color correction and that you charge like what your prices are. I usually charge $60 an hour with a minimum of two hours for a color correction. And then that's kind of, but you know, like it can go a lot higher than that. I know some people that do double that. It's just whatever you decide your prices are, but you need to make sure that the people know that because if they look at your price list and they're like, oh, an all over color or like an ombre, it starts at $100. Oh, $100, they're just gonna think, oh, this is gonna be 100 bucks, but you, they don't realize that you have to do this first. So this is like a whole nother color whole nother application, whole nother couple hours of time. So just keep that in mind when you're doing the consultation because it's not something that you can spring on someone after the fact and be like, oh, by the way, this is a $400 color instead of a $100 color. Forgot to tell you that. That's not cool. You gotta make sure you have clear communication up front and people will appreciate it and then you won't have angry people that don't wanna come back. And, and then you can also explain to them ahead of time it's worth it because we're doing all the right steps. Like, yeah, you could go to somewhere else and have them just slap on color in your head and have it look like you did it yourself for a hundred bucks. But there you go, my little tip of the day. All right, we are almost done with the application of this lightener. So close. And um, as soon as this is on, I'm just gonna process it. And if the back gets too light, then I can rinse just the back because I started in the back and I can leave the front to continue processing. Because it's taken me, how long has it taken me? Can you tell? I think it's been like 35, 40 minutes. I mean, this is a lot of hair painting, a lot of hair to go through. She has a lot. So, and I'm taking fourth inch sections and I'm doing lots of product, like I said earlier. So the back's been processing longer than the front, obviously. But. All right, we processed this for 30 minutes and then it was light enough. This is not the end destination. So when you get to this like orangey stage, if you're doing red, that's where you wanna be. If you get too light, then you have problems with like having to repigment it. So orange is fantastic when you're going back and coloring it with red. So. If you wanted to do some like really blonde highlights through the ends, you might want to let it sit a little bit longer, but for what we're doing, even then I probably would still rinse it at this point and then paint on some highlights when I do the final color over the orangey so that it gets like a fresh coat on it. So we're ready to rinse this out because we use the um, Olaplex in her lightener. We are just finishing up with the number two. I haven't washed her hair yet. I just rinsed it out really good and we're going to do 10 minutes with the number two. And I'm glad we're doing this because it's going to make it feel really nice and it'll be a good base for putting the red on. That's the nice thing about the Olaplex. I feel like it really 
keeps the integrity of the hair to where it holds the color that you stick on after a lot better than it would if I weren't using it because the cuticles smooth down and it's just like, well, there's still hair there, first of all, so I don't know. It's just the cuticle's not blown to pieces, so it seals up again over the red molecules and it holds them in there a little bit better. So I like using it when I'm doing stuff like this where I'm color correcting. I think it helps a lot. Oh my gosh. Wow, her hair's so ugly. <laughs> She's my sister-in-law, I can say that's funny. And she agrees. She's like, this is so ugly. <laughs> if you let your clients leave with hair like this, you should just punch yourself in the face. <laughs> my eyes. Yeah, you just, you have to keep going. You don't give up. But then this was a plan. But here's her cut, you guys. Pretty much. It's very similar to mine. It just goes longer on this side. So yeah, I did do a cut on her hair. We bleached it. I rinsed it with the Olaplex, whatever. And then I was like, I want to cut it before I color it because I want to be able to like see where these highlights need to be and stuff. So what I've done now is I've mixed up a 4RV in the color gels, the Redken color gels with a 10 volume. And I'm going to go through and just paint this on her root, paint this on her roots and like blend in this orange line just a little bit. Um, once I get that everywhere on her roots, then I'm going to mix up another color that I haven't really decided on yet and do the mid shaft and then I might even put some lightener on her ends. I haven't decided yet, but I'm just taking it one step at a time. Some kind of, I'm, I'm trying to debate if I want to do a little bit lighter on the ends so that I can get a little bit brighter of a pop of red, but um, I might just do like a Shades EQ Rocket Fire Red, like a, a gloss on the ends. But I'm, I'm kind of wanting to play with the Pravana, so I might try to lighten the ends a teeny bit more and then put a Pravana on. Make a whole nother step, make it easier. I mean, more complicated. Just make life a little bit harder for everyone. But this 4RV is going to be pretty base. So I'm just going all the way from the front of her head to the back of her head and just coloring it on the regrowth. And then underneath here, obviously it's all dark, so it will all be the four. I really like how smooth these colored gels are. They just glide through the hair, they're nice. And they're so shiny. That's the other thing I really love about them. Okay, so now that I've got the back and this line painted on both sides, I'm gonna go around the perimeter of her head and just paint this on. And if you are worried about color staining at this point, you would wanna put a color barrier on or right after you're done with this step, you can go around and wipe. And that's what I'm gonna do, just to make sure we don't get color staining. And that's no fun, you don't like that. You can see right here already. We just need to wipe it off. So now that we have those two sections, I'm gonna go through and just do fourth inch partings and cover all of her regrowth. And I can, I'm also going to go through and every once in a while just pick up a nice little chunk of hair and paint that with the dark because I want to have some low lights running through this. And it will still be a little bit brighter than her roots because it is light, it's that orange color. So it'll kind of do like it naturally just have that little bit of a dimension. Add a little bit of pop, it'll be a little bit brighter red violet. Not as, quite as deep, it'll be pretty. So 
So I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of going through and picking out pieces that I think would be cute dark and pulling this 4RV just down a little bit more and leaving the ends out, kind of feathering it down. Um, just to give it some dimension. And then the rest of it, oh, it's like, this is the creative part. It's so hard to decide. It's like, do I wanna just do a color gloss after or the Pravana red? I think I'm gonna do one more color. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna mix up a five. Let me look through my cupboard and decide. I'm gonna just kind of play in my head for a minute, you guys. Okay, so I mixed up this 6OR orange red. Ah, it's gonna be fun. Figured we have all this orange, we might as well go with it, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna start right back here at the bottom and just very carefully clip this up. I don't wanna smush it, so I'm just really being careful. Um, and then I'm gonna go through here and I have my little blur brush and I'm gonna dip it in there and just blur it in. Not everywhere, I'm gonna just blur it in where I want it, just for fun. Okay, and let's keep doing that. And I do wanna leave some blonde too so that we can do that color gloss. So I'm not gonna do this everywhere. I'm just gonna kind of keep it right in here. Just kind of blur these two lines together. And on this one, I'm not even gonna do it everywhere. I'm just gonna take out a few chunks. I'm gonna just do like a big chunky weave and leave that blonde out. Breaking up the color like this is making, it makes a huge difference, you guys. Like having these little teeny highlights throughout, it's gonna give it so much dimension and movement and it's gonna just look so much better than if you just did it all over color. I'm gonna keep doing that where I weave it especially now because I even have some dark pieces in here. So maybe even just put the orange back here in this one. And I have some more of this dark left over too. If I see pieces that I think need to be dark, I can go in and paint them. Just giving low lights and highlights, you guys. I just want it to be really pretty blend with some dimension in there too. I don't want it to look like only the roots have the dark. I want it to kind of blend in there. There we go. I don't even need the clip anymore because it kind of just stays where it's supposed to go. These are her bangs. How so right in here. here. What? How orange are we talking here? Orange. <laughs> It'll be pretty. Trust. Trust me. Like, not this orange. Okay. <laughs> like a vibrant, beautiful orange. It'll be pretty. So, I rinsed that out, and now I'm going to dry it and apply the Pravana. This is the red and the magenta mixed. And I added a teeny little bit of the pastel pink just to brighten it up a little bit. And that's what I'm going to add on everything that's lighter, like all of our highlights. So, here we go. So here we go. This is what her hair looks like without any of the Pravana on it. And so this is what it will fade to when the Pravana does fade. And this is pretty, so we're okay with that. But just for fun, we are making it really fun and vibrant. And we're gonna go ahead and add the magenta and the red to anything light. You can see this red orange in here, very pretty transition. I really like how that turned out. But I'm gonna paint some of it in because I it can't hurt it. It'll just make it a little bit more ready orange, but it's a good transition line so that. Let 
And you wanna make sure you get all the little pieces. Okay. And this is really easy. It's not gonna hurt anything darker than the color. So if I put this everywhere, it would be fine too. But I'm trying not to use that much of it and it's kind of wasteful to stick it where you don't need it. So I'm just gonna go through and paint all of it where I want it. And it's gonna be really vibrant, really fun. But yes, these do fade. They, they stay pretty vibrant for a while. I mean, I think of all the direct dyes like this, the Pravana is the best as far as staying in. In my opinion, I don't know, I haven't used them a ton though. What do you guys think? Is there another one that stays in a little bit better? Um, I think that there might be some that stay in a little bit better, but then they're too hard to get out. So that's like, I wouldn't wanna do something that had that trade in because if you can never get it out and then the hair is just like permanently green, this is driving me crazy, sorry about that, then that's kind of a not fun trade off and I don't love that. So you guys can see what it's gonna look like. This is pretty much what it's gonna look like when it's done because what you see is what you get. It might be a little bit less vibrant because her hair's not like platinum, but you get the idea. And she came in, she said, I want to be red, like really red. So this is that. what we, <laughs> this is what we're doing. No, I'm excited. I think it's going to be beautiful because you have this really deep base. And so it's just going to be like laying over it and really pretty. It's been too long since I've been red. I know, it's going to be fun. And it won't be bad grow out either because this is pretty close to your natural. Yeah. So this 4RV that we used is actually not as vibrant as I thought it would be. It's the right color, but I don't see as much, you know, it's dark. Four is a really dark one, so it's not bad. I'm not like bashing on the color. I'm just, I'm kind of, I guess, comparing it to the Fusion line. And I think the Fusion line has a little bit more of a violet red pop in it. But this is really pretty. I'm not complaining at all because I think it turned out really pretty with what we're doing. And it ha does have like a red tone to it. So I think it's great. It's just interesting to notice the little differences between the color lines. And I also probably could have used like a 20 volume if I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant. So, but there was also a 5RV. So the 5RV would have been a little bit more vibrant too. But like I said, it'll be really good for her because when she grows out, she's not gonna have to worry about having a huge line there. So on this long side, I just like melted a little bit of this coral color. This brush is sad. Got squished in my drawer. Um, just kind of into the ends to lighten up the red and then I'm blending it down. I just wanna have the tips a little bit lighter, I guess. That's the thing is I'm happy with it without the red on there already. So like this is just icing on the cake at this point. And like, look, you can see this corally pink color. I'm pretty sure that that won't really show up. It's just going to dilute this one down a little bit because her hair is still kind of orangey. And in order for that one to show up, I think it has to be like a pale, pale yellow or white. But we're experimenting. I'm curious. We are almost done, just a few more sections here. And I love how this stuff smells. It smells really good. It does smell good. It does. The Pravana smelled delicious. It's like almost like shampoo, it's clean. We're gonna process for 20 minutes because that's what the box says. I just read it to make sure, that's what I thought. But And then um, sulfate, sulfate free shampoo. You're supposed to use the Pravana, but I don't think I have any. So I'm just gonna use the Redken sulfate free shampoo and I think it will be fine. And um, then we'll show you the end result. This is exciting, we're almost done, yay. I think it's gonna be pretty. We're ready to dry it for the last time and if I need to do any more little detail cutting, I can do that when we style it up. But here we go. 
Okay, so on this side over here, it almost just looked like all solid red and I'm so, I'm kind of just like not quite happy with that. So I'm taking a few pieces and I'm dragging down some of the dark. So stuff like this happens and usually I'm the one to say something because I, if I notice that it could look better somehow, then I don't mind speaking up about it because I'd rather just say, you know what, I think it'll look a little bit better if we add a couple dark pieces in this side just to add a little bit more dimension. They'll usually agree with me and then I don't have to send them out the door knowing that I didn't think it looked perfect and then have them have the stress of being like, great, now I have to call her back. And this isn't gonna take very long. I'm just piecing out a few big chunks and leaving a few layers out. And you can just kind of see, I'm just kind of eyeballing, where do I want a little bit more depth, you know? And they're pretty big chunks. And I don't even have to take it all the way down to the ends. I can just do like on this one. And this is just the 4RV with the 10 volume again. I can just do down to the tips, you know, like just to give a little bit more breakup and dimension. Like I said, I'd rather be the one to bring up if I'm not 100% happy with the color than having them go home and stress about it and then have to say something or just never say something and just not coming back, even worse. So, it's worth the extra time, you guys. They will, they will be grateful to you for being honest and just like not acting like you're perfect all the time. So we don't always know how things are gonna look and I think it'll look better if we just do a few of these. There you go. Okay, this is it, you guys. We are done with the color and this is the final product. So I think it's really pretty. I like how it turned out. It has lots of fun brightness, but it's also dark. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Let me know what you guys think below. Comment below. This is kind of something I haven't done before, this vibrant of red. It's fun and I really like it. So hopefully you guys like it too. Click the like button and comment below. Let me know. And please, you guys, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and then you can get updates whenever I upload videos. So do that right away if you haven't yet. And don't forget to go buy tickets to CVX Live to come and meet me in Orem, Utah in August. And we will also be in Seattle, Washington for a vlogger fair. If you want to come meet us there, that would be great. So let me know what you guys want to see next and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.